Okay, here we go again. It's uh, 4F1KJA. Uh, good evening. And I would like to introduce to you the Kenwood VHF repeater TKR750. And at the same time, the Kenwood uh, UHF FM repeater TKR850. Actually, this both repeater have the same capabilities. So I will show you all the special capabilities of this repeater. It is... Uh, for me, it's a very good uh, repeater. Uh, I'm satisfied on my uh, repeater. Uh, okay, so uh, we will power on the system first for the TKR750. So here it is. So we will also power up the UHF uh, FM repeater TKR850. Well, as you can see, uh, each repeater has its own uh, station ID. I program it as, uh, that has uh, two different messages on the station ID. So, uh, this station ID can be programmed, their timer, uh, either it's up to you, 15 minutes or into a second or in an hour. So that depends on your program. So right now I program this uh, two repeater with the station ID every 30 minutes uh, for the messages. Likewise, uh, 30 minutes. So it will transmit automatically. But uh, if you want to hear remotely, we can remotely uh, uh, enable to transmit the first messages. Okay, of this uh, repeater. So, so we'll try to check. So I have a uh, iPhone B sixty B B sixty B B eighty two. I'm sorry about that. And um, the repeater was was currently transmitting on one four five decimal one eight for Grupo Kabuto. So, uh, here it is, uh, to remotely enable, to transmit the first message, I program it to number zero, so, here it is, uh, so, press zero. Okay, for the second message, uh, if you want to hear the second message transmission, just press 8. I program it to number 8. Okay, so right now, as you can see, uh, the, yeah, the uh, very interesting on this uh, frequency right now is uh, if you have a group for this repeater and example example only that uh, most of the member do not pay their monthly dues or uh, this is for commercial purposes if uh, someone leasing your your repeater system and do not pay their their uh, their monthly bills or monthly rental you can disable the transmit of the repeater okay and at the same time you can remotely enable rather than to go to the mountain and just just only to disable the repeater or enable the repeater it will cost you expensive for the gasoline for the time and effort you go there and you go back okay you can disable this uh, repeater uh, directly and remotely like example with this one i program this to disable 
pound sign 1222 and to enable is the asterisk sign 1222 but you have to press the PTT of the microphone like example this one going to disable uh, uh, the transmit of the repeater okay pound okay so as you can see you cannot trigger it anymore there is no TX indicator that it was transmitting so if you want to enable this repeater again remotely just press the asterisk uh, sign and then the code now it was already enabled see and the good thing here if uh, there is someone jammer and uh, you want to change the frequency from another frequency okay you can remotely also change the channel of this repeater okay so the function for that on my portable is uh, number seven so here it is i'm going to function it to seven and check see the channel it will change See, so uh, channel was changed, channel was frequency assigned, was changed, so so you have to go to channel 8 and then press 7 again and then it will change the channel. Or you can, uh, you can assign certain function for up and down step, so up and down system of the repeater. So I think that's it folks for today and for tonight. So... Uh, I hope uh, you like my video right now for the TKR 750 and 850. Oh, by the way, I'll just to trigger one thing for the 850. Okay. So, it's working. So, currently, I don't have a UHF that has a DTMF to remotely control the repeater. Uh, just to show you, just give you the example in VHF band. So I hope you like my uh, videos, uh, 73's uh, for F1KJA signing off.